Hey guys, Unstoppable360 here with another card trick. Um, that's right. If you like card tricks, you should su sub, sub, sub. You should sub. Uh, here's a card trick. Uh, we'll be using cards for this, uh, specifically these emotions playing cards uh, because I love AIDS. So here, uh, we're not uh, going to use all the cards. We're going to use the, the four kings to demonstrate a more of a, of a gambling move and less of a card trick. So the way this works is that we're going to use the uh, four kings here. And uh, hopefully, they're going to allow us uh, to, to show you a little bit of a, of a move here that you would do in the underground gambling scene. So let's say that you have some cards in your pocket that you want to ring in the game, right, with your homies. You're playing some cards with your homies. And uh, the cards in your pocket are the, uh, the black king. So the king of uh, spades, that goes in the pocket and the uh, king of clubs right there those go in the pocket but here's a problem we don't want them in our pocket we want them uh here instead of the red kings so watch here's the move here's the move you ready that's it because now i have the uh black kings in my hand uh because the red kings are in my pocket did you you see that you see the but I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, hey, um, that's not practical. I mean, the kings had to go in your in your pocket, right? Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's the way you kind of have to do it. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'll show you how this looks like uh, in, with using your hand, sir, using uh, your hand and these, uh, these playing cards. Uh, so um, uh, you can just hold your hand out right there. That That's perfect. You're doing such a great job here. So I'm going to give you the... Uh, King of Spades, and it's very important you don't move here. I'm going to give you the King of Spades and the King of Clubs right here. Again, very important you don't move. And I'll take the, uh, I'll take the other ones, the, the red ones, and put them in my pocket. So, sir, your job right now, after I do the move, is to tell me what is where. All right? Here's the move. You ready? Fuck yeah. That's, the, that's it. That's all it takes. So which cards are now in my pocket, sir? Um, the black ones? God, God damn it. Uh, what cards in your hand? Are oh, the red ones? I don't think you've been paying attention, sir. Um, because you do have the red ones, uh, but they're the aces, uh, and these are also these are also the aces. Uh, so you should go home and think about what you've done, because you've been a bad boy. Um, Unmonetized. Oh, hey guys, Unstoppable360 here with the uh, We already did. Um, all right, so here's the setup. Here's the setup you need for this trick. Uh, you need two kings, you need four kings, and you need four aces. So this is going to be kind of a reworked version of the Dr. Daly's last trick. Uh, and com uh, combined with uh, kind of a kickback, uh, two card money style. Um, sort of routine here. So this is where you get off, and the spectators are gonna spectators are gonna get off. You're gonna need uh, two black aces in your right pocket and the two red aces in your left pocket. So you're gonna segregate them here, and we're gonna do a little bit of a Doctor Daly's bit with the rest of the cards here, which are gonna be the four kings or whatever court cards you want. And after that, that's your setup. So you could get into this anytime. You just have the four aces in both those pockets and you're ready to go. You take out the kings from your em emotion deck, and you're ready to rock. Um, so what you're going to do here is uh, you're going to do a little bit of a displacement here. So notice I'm s swiveling the kings here, and as I square them together, I'm just going to mix them in just like this so that the bottom king, which is going to be a black king, obviously I'm holding the black kings in my right hand, the red kings in my left hand. They're going to go in between, so the order now is black, red, black, red. Oh boy, I'm already getting erect. Now you're gonna do the sequence here of getting uh, breaks and doing double lifts to show the off-color kings here. So the first one, you get a break. I usually like counting the cards just like this. On the, the third one, I get a break right there. And then I put this one on top and I have a break under two cards. And now I could do a double lift. A double lift. Oh boy, you, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see the, the in, uh, double lift? And you show the king of clubs. You're gonna turn it over, of course, now. You switched it for red, and that goes inside of your pocket behind the aces. That goes behind the aces. Then you're gonna do the other double lift, so you peel one card off into your left hand, you do another double, 
and show the king of spades, the other black one. And you say, look, I'm going to put the black ones in my pocket, uh, just like in the old days. The black ones go right in there, which leaves us with the red ones. Now I peek at these and I miscall them as the red ones. And I say, I'm going to do the move here. Here's the move. Of course, it's already done because you have the black aces. You, you reach in your pocket, you take out nothing, and you go, got it. Got him. I did it. See, because now I have the black kings. And in my pocket, now you're going to reach behind the aces and take out the kings one at a time and show the transposition has taken place. This should uh, elicit a round of applause, if not fellatio from your um, spectator. But you say, I know, look, I'm being very sneaky because I'm putting the cards in my own pocket. And here you're going to switch these two red kings for the aces inside of your pocket. So you just go in there, you go, oh, you, you're thinking that I'm doing sneaky stuff. Um, or, oh, in a, in a game, people might be a little bit suspicious if you're reaching into your pocket, you know, uh, you might, whatever line you want to use to cover that, do it. it it's, it's, it's a free world. You're a free elf. But you ring in the aces in that little gesture on the offbeat. And now you're ready for the second phase where you invoke the use of the spectator's hand here. So you take the, the spectator or a table if the spectator's not there and you're doing this for yourself. Um, and you're going to do the same exact action you did as before. So you're going to interlace the aces and the kings just like this just as before, and when you square it up, you get a break right there underneath the second card from the top of the deck. Oh boy, I'm already getting ready here. You do another double lift and show a black king, and you put this inside of the spectator's hand, right there, just like that. But guess what? That's already one of the aces, so you're already getting ahead, ahead like a, like a duck in a race. Then you're going to peel off one more card and do the exact same sequence, doing a double lift, showing the king of spades. That goes on top of the card in the spectator's hand and say, don't move. Don't move because you're going to ruin everything if you move. Of course, that's to prevent them from turning over everything prematurely, uh, ejaculating, and then showing the, the, the surprise. And then you say, oh, and the other ones are going to go in my pocket. Now I'm putting these behind the aces and showing everything to be very clean here. So now the spectator thinks they have kings in their hand. Really, they have the black aces. And you go, okay, so watch here. I'm going to do the move. You ready? Oh, uh, that's the move. Sir, if I did the move, what cards do I have in my pocket? They're going to say whatever they want. You say, okay, that's interesting. What cards do you have in your hand? They're going to say again, whatever they think is correct. They're going to be wrong as fuck. And then you go, oh, I don't think you were paying that much attention, sir, um, because you have the aces, uh, the black ones. You have the black ones. And they're going to be surprised when they see that they have uh, black aces in their hand. And you go, yeah, um, you know what? It turns out you need to get your eyes checked because you are a dumb cunt, or whatever powder point you want, really. Uh, if you want to keep it family friendly, you could call him a dumb, a dumb fuck. Uh, if you want to kind of be edgy and cool, like the kids uh, are these days, you, uh, you drop one of these and, um, and call him a cunt. So that's the trick, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's, it's a hot reworking of uh, that Dr. Daly's trick. Uh, it's not hard to do. And it's easy to set up. Uh, so I hope you guys subscribe and like. And um, I'm going to go figure out different ways to FedEx press my feelings for men. See you again when I 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 see you again. Shall I go? Shall I go?